Here's a question from chapter 14 where we have the firm and we're looking to identify what, how does the firm respond and what are the profits of the firm when the market price is given at $8. So I'm going to draw out what happens when that market price is $8. So there's the $8 mark right there. So price is $8. Will the firm to maximize profits, the maximizing profit rule is that price equals marginal cost. Well, in this case, our upward sloping cost curve represents our marginal cost. So this is the point where price equals marginal cost. So we draw that down, and this now is little q star. And so that answers kind of the question of how much the firm is going to produce. They're going to produce 40 units at the given price of $8. But we want to identify the profits. Well, we know profits are equal to price minus average total cost times q. Well, in this case, price is given at 8. We don't know what average total cost is yet, and Q is 40. So to find the average total cost, we take Q and follow that up until we reach the average total cost curve, which is this smiley face, and it's actually equal at 8. And so that tells us that profits are 0 times 40, or our economic profits are 0. And what that tells us is that the reason that's the case is because at this point here, this is where the average total cost intersects the marginal cost is called the efficient scale. And if price is set where those intersect, then that's the case when price is equal to average total cost, which means that profits are zero. And so while this is the short run profits, because there's profits are zero, the market's not going to respond with entry and exit. And so when profits are zero, this is the short run equilibrium, but it's also the long run equilibrium.